Hello YouTube, hello Facebook. Uh, guys, this is for you and ladies. Uh, if you're anything like me, um, I'm always looking to improve my, whether it's my home entertainment or my computer and I'm just a little geek like that. But uh, anyway, I'm going to show you how to hook up a soundbar. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, um, first off, you know how you go to these electronic places to buy uh, a certain wire that you need that doesn't come in the box for some reason? That's because they want you to go out there and buy a wire. Here are wires. These are wires for audio, okay? You don't what need you do that. need, however, is um, this wire. It's a digital audio fiber optic cable. Okay, you can buy them at um, any electrical store. I happen to run around to a uh, uh, Radio Shack. Uh, I went to Staples, but I ended up finding it at Walmart. I was frustrated, you know, how you buy these things and the cable doesn't come in a box. Again, they want you to go out and buy those wires. And um, they, they're kind of pricey, but anyway, uh, this is the cable. It's very clear, transparent, right? It, uh, it almost looks like an IV drip line. And um, there's a little cover to it. You take those out, okay? And you plug it into your TV set. Just like this. Digital uh, audio output on your TV. Just like that. And like again, like I was going to say, they're very transparent and they almost look like a drip line, you know? Oh, morphine. Now, now remember, I told you guys to remove this little piece that's right here, okay? And just to give you a little close-up, this is exactly where I, I uh, showed you guys to plug the, uh, the digital audio wire, the fiber optic wire here. Plug it right there, okay? Okay now, this right here is the uh, soundbar, okay, I just bought an RCS soundbar, I also got this at Walmart, you know, one of, one of my sound quality to be better than what this TV puts out, but um, at any rate, the same wire, I showed you guys to plug in the uh, digital audio wire, the, uh, this gets plugged in back here, okay, and I'm going to show you right there. Right over here, it gets plugged in right there. First you take the cap off, as the other end, and you plug it in back here. Simple as that, okay? And uh, fortunately for us, uh, this soundbar comes with the power cord. That's the only thing they put in the box. Everything else, remember, they want you to buy. And um, we are going to plug this in right back here okay there's other hookups there for uh, um, for audio but uh, I've tried those and failed so this is the best way to go right here is with this um, uh, um, fiber optic cable all right and uh, I'm gonna mount it to the wall and I'll show you guys to do that all right we're back uh, I took the liberty of uh, pre-drilling some holes in the wall here and then putting in some screws and um, I measured it up and down sideways and it should be perfectly balanced when I, when I uh, mount the, uh, the soundbar up there and uh, let's see if that's true. Okay, that's one, that's two, and that's perfect. Okay, now let's see how my expertise in uh, measurements go. Right. Here we go. Perfect. So now we're going to take and plug the uh, soundbar in. And if you noticed, I set all the wires up back there with a with a surge protector. You need a surge protector if you if you get a thunderstorm, lightning storm, and you don't have a surge protector, all your equipment is fried. So remember. 
you need a surge protector for all your equipment, especially with all these wires. Um, I mean, I got wires hooked up to my computer and everything back here, but the screen, um, having it hooked up on a wall like this, the screen, the TV itself, oh hi dad, you won't see wires when, you, when you're watching TV, and that's a good thing. I hate looking at a mess of wires, but um, I'll be right back when everything's all set, all right? One thing I almost forgot, and I'm glad I remembered to show you guys, the settings on the soundbar. Um, I had a little trouble myself um, figuring out the settings, and I figured it out, and I want to show you guys. That way you guys won't have to go through the trouble. That's what this video is all about. And, um, you know, just in case you guys turn on the soundbar and, and there's no noise coming out, and, and I'm like, where's the noise? You know, this guy's video sucks. Well, <laughs> I want to take care of that for you. I'm going to show you, okay? You know, so take it easy, go call lo suave, and I'll be with you in a second. Okay, the other beauty of the soundbar is that uh, it comes with uh, a remote, all right? And you can either turn the uh, soundbar over here or on the remote. And uh, we're going to go ahead and turn this on right here. See if that works. Okay, is there a little blue light? There goes the little blue light, okay? I'm going to turn it off and see if the remote works. Yep, there goes the little blue light right there, okay? And um, like I was saying earlier, um, you might not get any noise out of it, and that's because there's a little magic button that you need to press to get the noise, and that button is right there. All right, glad we cleared that up. Okay, now that we have this baby set up, um, we're going to test it out. Let's uh, check out the movie trailer for RoboCop. Let's uh, play the trailer. Here we go. Sound. But that's the sound of the TV. Let's put on the box. Let's put the sound bar on, shall we? Let's have it on mute. That's what I'm talking about right there. All right. Now that we see this working, you guys have a great day. And remember, throw away those needless wires, man. Peace. How did you do it? Make them more tactical. Make them look, uh, let's go with black. When the machine fights, the system releases signals into Alex's brain, making him think he's in control. But he's not. It's the illusion of free will. I've collected 13 targets, all wanted for murder. This is the future of American justice. Overriding the system's priorities. Even though the law was compression, compassion, fear, instinct, they've always interfered with the system. Hello, 